Um, yeah, yeah, there's a high probability, I imagine. when, Whenever there's a big event or a national celebration, there's always some accident somewhere, uh, especially when alcohol is involved. Yeah, it's, it's now the drug of the world, I think. Well, I, I read some statistic that at any one point in time, like 10% of the people on planet Earth are drunk or something like that. It's, it's, mm. it's really crazy. Did you know the single the single largest killer of people on planet Earth is alcohol related disease? That's a fact. The single largest killer in the world mm -hmm. is alcohol related disease. That's that, that's really crazy. And I find it interesting that where I am right now in Scotland is celebrated for its whiskey, which is the celebration of a poison which is responsible for a large number of deaths of people on the planet i i, I find <laughs> that I, I, I find that quite amazing that people people celebrate it as if it's a wonderful thing um i'm not against people drinking whiskey but we have to also realize the truth of the situation which is that uh, um in limited amounts it's relatively healthy, um, mm -hmm. but in but in large amounts, it's definitely not. So if you have uh, a certain percentage of alcohol, it does act as a disinfectant. It also acts as a painkiller as well. Mm -hmm. And that that that's what was used as a painkiller by doctors hundreds of years mm -hmm. years ago. They would give alcohol to the patients to drink, and then they would perform the operations and. The patients didn't feel anything. You've you, you've maybe seen those old Western films where the doctor has to do something really painful, so they give a bottle of whiskey to to the man, and he drinks the bottle of whiskey, and the doctor then I don't know cuts out the the bullet or something like that. Mm. So yeah, that's how it that's how it was used in the past, and uh, as as a form of medication. And it wasn't really until about 150 to almost 200 years ago that it became much easier to access alcohol. It was always considered a secret code, actually. The, um, the production of alcohol was considered a secret down through the ages. And mm -hmm. it was a closely, a closely guarded secret that was kept by many people because it was... Um, obviously a, a medicine and a, and a tool that could be used to control society and there were there were lots of stories about how when rome fell it was because of the decadence of the society and alcohol was a part of that uh, decadent society in the past so um it was difficult for people to get people could only get alcohol in public houses which are the, the pubs of today but uh, uh, the public houses needed licenses from the king or the queen that's why you see this example in britain where the pubs all have names like the king's arms or the mm -hmm. red lion or the soldier's tavern because they were actually houses for soldiers okay and the, sol and the soldiers would be allowed to drink because they were working for the king but the commoners or common people would not be allowed to drink. So it was a special privilege mm -hmm. to, be, to be allowed to drink. Mm -hmm. It was a sign of your status in society. And uh, so it wasn't until much later that uh, the, the secrets of how to distill and create alcohol were passed to larger uh, passed down to larger groups of people and production was increased which was of course a business but it was also a way to control society I mean that that's how commun that's how communists controlled Russia and, and other regions they controlled it with alcohol mm -hmm. alcohol was made alcohol was the single cheapest commodity in the country uh, because the people had no money, but they had money for alcohol because it was so cheap and it was just used to control and dumb down and make people sick and 
keep them happy. The, the average age of, for men in Russia up until recently was only 45 years. So um, obviously that's better now, but um, you know, it was used to control society. It was used to control Scot Scottish people in Scotland. The whiskey was used to control them. Um, uh, whiskey was used to control the Indians in uh, North America to uh, degenerate the society, uh, the Aborigines as well. So, um, so it was, um, it, was one, it was one of the elements of control, and still is, and still is today, and still is today, I think. Um,